Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 3rd and 4th of November. Now let's start. So first news is related to G20. So this time Brazil is the host of G20 summit and recently there was a meeting of G20 disaster resilient infrastructure. So that's why Brazil was in news. Last year, India was the host of the 20 summit. Next news is related to UN COP60. So we have discussed this multiple times. This is related to CBD, that is Convention on Biological Diversity. And it was hosted in Colombia in Cali. So recently, it was in news because it created a permanent body for indigenous people. So very simple question can be asked that recently, which United Nations summit approved the creation of permanent body for indigenous genius people. So this will be done through this CBD that is Convention on Biological Diversity. Why this body will be set up for conservation of nature. Next news is related to Japan. So Japan is going to launch world's first wooden satellite. This is being done to promote sustainability. Now understand the name of the satellite is Lignosat. So three important development. A G20 host is Brazil for this year. B. A permanent body will be set up for indigenous people for conservation of nature and this will be as per Convention, of, Convention on Biological Diversity. This was signed in 1992 and this 16th Conference of Parties was hosted in Colombia in Cali. And this one is related to Japan. Next is related to Rastriya Ekta Divas. So Rastriya Ekta Divas was observed on 31st of October on the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who is also known as Iron Man of India. So it was his 149th birth anniversary. Now the theme of this year's Rastri Ekta Divas focused on the heritage of Raigad Fort. We have already discussed this in our previous lecture. Raigad Fort is important because Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj established his capital here in 1674. And British historians called this as Gibraltar of the East. It is situated in Raigad district of Maharashtra. Next news is related to US elections. So every four years, US have presidential elections on the first Tuesday of November. This time it is on 5th of November. And on 5th of November, US will elect its 47th president. In order to contest election, the candidate must be a natural born US citizen and the age must be at least 35 years old. Next news is related to gold reserve. So India's gold reserve is 854.73 metric ton as per recent report of RBI. Now, one important thing is that roughly 500 metric ton is within our country and roughly 300 metric ton is in Bank of England and Bank for International Settlements. The headquarters of BIS is in Basel and in the context of Basel, there are Basel norms. Basel norms. These are guidelines for stability of financial system. Now, as of now, three Basel norms has been issued, but India follow Basel 2. Most recent is Basel 3. So very simple question can be asked. The term Basel norms was in news recently. It is related to banking, supercomputing, environment conservation or none of the above. So it is related to stability of banking system or financial system. Now gold is important part of our Forex reserve and RBI is Forex manager. In terms of gold, India is on 8th position in terms of gold reserve. That means how much gold we have. USA is on top position followed by Germany. Next news is related to World TB report. So recently this report has been released by WHO that is World Health Organization. And as per that report, India has witnessed a decline of 17.7% TB incidence from 2015 to 2023. Now understand TB is a disease caused by bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis. In terms of global TB cases, TB is the leading infectious killer. It has surpassed COVID-19. There were roughly 8.2 million new cases in 2023. The problematic part is that India accounted for roughly one-fourth of the TB cases. And the biggest problem in our country is this multi-drug resistant TB. Now understand it this way. A patient is given a medicine, 
but sometimes these medicine are not given properly. So what happens is over a period of time, the patient body will stop responding to those medicine. That means the body has become resistant to that medicine. If the body became resistant to multiple such medicine, that is basically referred as multi-drug resistant. So in a very simple sense, the TB medicine are not working in case of that particular person. Now, India have a target to eliminate tuberculosis by 2025. The global target is to eliminate it by 2030. Next news is related to formation of states. So on 1st of November, eight states and five union territories celebrated their statehood day. In 1953, Andhra Pradesh was the first state to be formed on linguistic basis. Linguistic basic basis basically means on the basis of language. And this was done after the death of Putti Sri Ramlu. Subsequently, State Reorganization Commission was set up and therefore State Reorganization Act was enacted. It led to establishment of 14 states and 6 union territories on the basis of language. Next news is related to Asset Recovery Interagency Network Asia Pacific. See, let's say there is some criminal in India. Now, this criminal can purchase assets or properties in UAE. Let's say can purchase any kind of property in UAE. Now, Indian agencies will not be able to know about and that's why there is a global network. This is referred as global Karin network to share the information related to such properties or such assets. As a part of this global network, there is a Asia Pacific network and this is Asset Recovery Interagency Network Asia Pacific that is Arin AP. Why it was in news recently? Because ED had joined it. ED is Enforcement Directorate. Now ED is under Finance Ministry and ED play a prominent role in the implementation of PMLA 2002. What is PMLA? That is Prevention of Money Laundering. Money Laundering Act. What is Money Laundering? Money Laundering is simply converting black money into white money. What is black money? The money on which tax is not paid. Now, it is important to note that India will host the annual general meeting in 2026. Annual general meeting of this ARIN AP. What is this ARIN AP? That is Asset Recovery Interagency Network for Asia Pacific. Next news is related to two exercise. So one is Vajra Prahar. So this is between India and USA. Second is Garud Shakti. This is between India and Indonesia. And this is the last article from Indian Express. So recently NSSO, that is National Sample Survey Office, which is under MOSPI, that is Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, conducted a survey and it found out that at national level, 66.7% of the children are enrolled in government schools and roughly 23% are enrolled in private schools. So basically, majority of the students are enrolled in government schools. However, in case of states like Haryana, Manipur, Telangana, and union territories like Puducherry. The pattern is different. In, in case of these states and union territory, majority of students are enrolled in private schools. So national trend, what is national trend? National trend is that government enrollment or government school enrollment are higher than private enrollment. And in case of these states, most students are enrolled in private schools in comparison to government school. What are these states? These are Haryana, Manipur, Telangana. So that was all for this current affairs. Thank you. And that's all for the day.